Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crash Designs. Uh, I'm gonna try <laughs> this coffee cup coaster mold today. But we're gonna start out with some UV resin. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start simple and just do the ice cubes. <laughs> This is just my old bottle of, this is the BS Resin. Which is a nice medium viscosity resin. So not too thick and not too thin. Whoop. But sure enough, almost empty. Let's see if I'll get two ice cubes out of it. And it was setting upside down, so it really is empty. Kind of weird to say, it takes a lot of concentration. I just don't want to overfill them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, a little long like lighter over the top. Okay, I'm going to put this under the UV light. Um, I'll probably go the full round and do the three minutes on one side, flip it over three minutes on the other, and then flip it back and three minutes again. I know it's nine minutes and it sounds ridiculous, but when you're doing something like this, something that is not just a fingernail, okay? fingernail you might could do in 90 seconds you cannot expect to cure these in 90 seconds <laughs> it just won't work all right so i'm gonna cure these up weirdly enough i'm very tempted to add something mm. i'll be back Okay, <laughs> all I did was sprinkle a little bit of that shaved ice. I don't necessarily care that it's just floating on the back. Okay. Last two in just a bit. <laughs> I 
Okay, I know it sounds so fiddly just for some ice cubes, but trust me, it'll, 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 it'll get there. Okay, now, the cover, I know I could do it in UV resin, but I don't want it to, um, curl in any way. So I'm using a, <laughs> the last of my resin. But it should give the right results. Oh, I'm sorry, and it was just an ounce of resin. Sorry about that. I'm just going to coax it to the edges. Okay, I can see you right away. That yes, it got something in the cup. And I'm sure it was just leftover resin from last time. So don't be like me. Do a better job cleaning out your molds. Okay. <laughs> Okay. No, no, no. Not that one. I believe it is this one. And when you've got glasses on or not, it is almost impossible to read. But I believe it says coffee. Okay. <sighs> hmm. Decisions, decisions. All right. I pour just a little bit. In there, because seriously, we will not need much. And I'll just do a couple. This is a uh, metallic alcohol ink. Now remember, this is you, um, epoxy resin, not UV resin. So I can color it on up. Okay, sorry, once again, I just don't want to overfill them. Okay. 
underfilling is okay. My Herculean strength is not enough. It might have been too much, but that was like five drops. Okay. I'm going to do five more drops. World's longest screwing lids. Ridiculous. I realize it's got to keep it from evaporating, but... Okay, here we go. Now there may still be a stray piece of glitter, but that's okay. Some details I'm wanting to put on the coffee cup. All right, now doesn't need to be exact. Okay. Kindergarten concentration once again. Okay, when when it starts getting a little I don't know, watery. <laughs> Is that a word? I mean, it's obviously a word, but in this context, Okay, something like that. Now, I don't really care that it's not all perfect, okay? I'm going to let this dry, and then I'm going to come back, and I'll do a second um, coat, a go or whatever you want to call it. And then I'm going to come back. And I'm going to put some mica powder. 
okay and I'm just gonna make it look like there's coffee in there kinda okay all right okay <clears throat> I've got three of the Let's Resin mica powders. This one is the gray. This one is the brown. And this one is the coffee. I'm going to mix them together and get something that that I believe is a maybe a little truer coffee color. That's almost too maroon for me. I don't drink coffee, but for me, that's too maroon. So, let's. Oh, goodness. I didn't know these were going to be that difficult to open. I don't want to break my nail. I don't really want too terribly much, but okay, then the brown. Okay, and then with the gray. Now, the gray, I really don't want very much. <clears throat> because it's got a silvery kind of a base color. And the uh, coffee color already had that. I have got the softest, fluffiest um, mica brush that I could find. Weirdly enough, it's my usual Michael brush. <laughs> now, the weird thing is, I won't know whether it's what I wanted until I use it. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Looks great on a crepey old hand. Alright. Now, I'm going to not... Well, I'm going to not go above the bottom line. Put it that way. Okay, really enough, that's the color I wanted. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but we'll find something. Um, I'm going to dust this off, and, and then I'm going to think about it, and then I'll be back. Okay, this is the polyurethane resin that I've got left. Um... I'm not going to tell you the brand. Uh, I would not recommend this brand at all. Stop right there, don't overflow. Huh. 
Okay. <clears throat> Let's demold these first. Now, I don't know what I'm going to use out of, out of these. Uh, I'm going to use them all in the set. Okay, let's look at the ice cubes first. <laughs> let's turn the one right side up first. Those turned out so cute. Now, like I said, I'm going to do a set of the cups. And I'm going to try to do each one with a different um, filling. Like this one might be iced coffee. Okay. Might be iced tea. With some lemon slices. Oh, that would be cute. Okay. Let's just do the coffee beans. If I can get any out. to see them. They are adorable. There we go. The details to really pop on the... Oh! oh. Cute. Okay. Instead, a white... Oh, might be my white acrylic paint pen. Some of that transparency. Oh my gosh, this is working, y'all. And I could see really a lot of applications besides just the coffee cups. I may need to do a few more to have enough for the whole set. Really cute. Alright. This is just the cover. Done with the almost last of my resin. Oh, that is so satisfying. <laughs> Alright, let's look. Yeah, got lots of micro bubbles and stuff, but... This is what matters. Look at that. Now, of course, I'll have some sanding to do to get that mic off the top. And the top line there, I'll need to go over that again in black. Couldn't be cuter. All right. A little explanation now. This is why I don't. <laughs> I'm sure it won't. But that's what it feels like. Come on now. Give me the handle. There we go. But see on the front side it it looks just fine now like I said only you just sand a little bit to get that extra mic off it really matters oh my gosh that is cute that is 
super cute eye. Now, I realize it's got the little... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. These are supposed to be a liquid filled. But I, I, I don't want to do that. <laughs> That's why I did the coffee look. And like I said, I know it could be cleaner. But we're gonna we're gonna work on that. All right. Oh, that's cute. So stay tuned. Okay, this is the overseas acrylic, uh, not acrylic, oil paint bin from Timu. Okay, if you will remember. pull this tip out on the other end is the smaller I hope I'm in camera enough y'all can see something other than the back of my head. One little bubble right there. But I can clean that. Alright, that is much better than it was. And we're not going for perfection anyway. When you put your paint bins, be double sure that you get the cap on all the way. And, and click. Okay. Now, we just need to let that dry. And then I'll go back in and clean up just a tiny bit. And then we'll be ready to fill. And of course I stuck it in the black paint. What else is new? Okay, I've got a couple of sets of these. Filler. Um, I think under Amazon they're listed as slime filler charms uh, something like that slime filler I think is what you would buy them under um, AliExpress I'm sure Timu this one is the bread set <laughs> I believe this one is just what was called the green set. Everything's got a kind of a green hue. Weirdly enough, and white. <laughs> These coffee cups were in there. The donut, sprinkle donut. The large coffee beans, those are gorgeous. And this little chocolate milk. <laughs> I just thought that would be cute floating in there. Okay, I'm going to put um, some chunky glitter, some seed beads, 
and I'll find some sort of metal charm to go in there as well. I'm going to get all that together. Um, now normally when I do a shaker keychain, I always put a, a cubic zirconia somewhere in there. But this is so large that I'm just going to try to find uh, one of my acrylic gems to go in there. Alright? Get that together, I'll be back. <laughs> Extra finger movement. Okay, <clears throat> here's what we've got so far. A little bit of this is a brown holographic. I really just want the tiniest amount. Okay. <clears throat> this is a set. I believe I got these off of Wish. Don't quote me on that. If not, help everything else move around. I hate these little bags though. While convenient. Hard as heck to open. Okay, we'll put a few of the bar. Okay, then I have these. No, no. Yeah, maybe just a couple. I got, it. I got another thought. Those are glittery like diamonds. I believe that I'm not even going to say it. I want to say they came from Amazon, but I'm not sure. Okay, one more surprise. Okay. And then to go with the donut, just a tiny bit of candy sprinkles. Ah. Okay, I was going to say maybe not. Literally like that many. Yeah. Okay. Mm -mm. That's gonna be cute. Now, we'll um, seal the lid down with UV resin. Then I'll come and put a top coat, a domey coat of UV resin, and then I'll put the um, toppings on. <laughs> Super cute. I'm gonna set up. I'm gonna set up for that. Okay. Set this to the side. This is the BS resin, UV resin. Just bought it off of Amazon a couple of weeks ago. It came in a three, three, uh, a three hundred, whatever. <laughs> okay. Now, that is easier to control than that. This is just a broken off silicone brush. Now, probably be easier with something else. Come on, I don't want that much. Just gonna paint it on. 
you want a continual bead but you don't want you don't want it dripping inside <laughs> that is a huge no no toppings stick your toppings your fillings that will make your fillings stick Okay, I'm just going to put this under the lamp, and I'll be right back. Okay, now the latex is dry. Now it looks horrible since we turned it over, but... Can be helped. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is start over here on this side. Okay. Then chin. Okay. Now I've got this up off the mat, and then we'll do the um, the coaster holder. These will be adorable. Now, uh, when I put the uh, uh, accessories on top whatever you want to embellishments on top I of course made the coaster area smaller so that is something you'll have to keep in mind um, of course they could go on the handle part super cute these will be really cute and of course not all of them will have um, such 3D elements sticking off, so. Alright. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll have the links to everything listed below. Um, this is a Timu mold, so I've got an affiliate, uh, link. And a 30% off first-time buyer's coupon. Um, the rest of the stuff just came from my Amazon shop. I just get a little tiny bit of kickback from those two things um the resin dyes the micas the now the oil paint pens also came from timu i've opened up a super thanks a buy me a coffee link and an amazon wish list if any of that interests you this is what we did today the little acrylic crystal the uh, coffee I didn't think about when I put the glitter that was the only thing I would change is I wouldn't put the glitter just because it does stick on top of the coffee in the chocolate bar right. the little sprinkles the seed beads the coffee beans it's so cute all right, thank y'all so much for watching. And I've already got the back dirty again. Still have not got the wiped off that corner. I'm just going to clean it all. Again, just to be sure. Uh, Alright. Every time you turn it upside down, then everything sticks on top. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye for now.